Carowin Co. presents a weekly scripture. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for another brief moment in God's Word. We have entered the spooky season, October, the season of Halloween. Well, this season has inspired me for a particular verse. Now, you may have heard the expression, should beware of false prophets for they will lead unto more ungodliness. This is actually, actually a misquote. You will not find that verse anywhere in the Bible. It's actually a fusion of two other verses. One verse starts with beware of false prophets, and the other one ends for they will lead unto more ungodliness. At least I think that's the wording. You'll find out about that next week. Hmm. As for this week, our verse can be found in... Matthew 7, verse 15. Jesus is speaking. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravaging wolves. Now, some of you are maybe wondering, why would I use this verse now? Why not wait until the, well, the week of Halloween? Well, the thing is, you need to be prepared. It's not just enough to have the greatest costume. It's not enough to have all the candy in town. <laughs> or at least enough candy to satisfy the little ones. It's not enough to have all the party supplies ready for a Halloween bash. You must also be wary of your neighbors. Now, I'm not saying spy on them, but at least be aware of them. Where they are at certain times of the day. What vehicles are roaming your neighborhood? You may walk out on the front yard, you are having your morning cup of coffee, collect the paper. For those of you who don't know, paper is what people used to use to read the news before tablets were invented. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you may chat with your neighbors every day and not really pay it two cents of mind. I mean, but all those cars that being by, a white van or something else with uh, blotched out windows. You may just think it's the TV repair guy or the uh, or internet or something. But you need to be aware of your surroundings at all times, but especially Halloween. For when kids are dressed up in costumes, parents need to be on full alert. The phrase stranger danger doesn't just apply to kids. The wolf in sheep's clothing. Classic phrase. Someone who you think is nice, someone you trust, and then suddenly they stab you in the back. For whatever reason. And Halloween, due to all the um, candy stops and, uh, and the Halloween parties, it's the worst time of the year. And mainly because the best trick-or-treating happens at night. While the spooky decorations are lit up so that it can give the kids a it's a nice, fun fright. But the problem with the night is, it's also very dark out. So it's very hard to see if you're in a place that doesn't have much lighting. So be aware, parents. Ghosts and goblins aren't the only things that go bump in the night. Beware of false prophets. Beware of those you trust. For there may be a wolf in sheep's clothing. Now, since the word prophet is connected to the Bible, many people would automatically refer to it as someone who is, is just a religious scholar. Someone who is well educated in religious texts. But that's not, exactly, that's not necessarily the case. When the Bible talks about prophets, it's referring to someone who is trustworthy. Someone of authority who is well respected. But this may... Make them believe that they can use the trust that they have gained from adults. Now, I'm not going to go into politics or anything like that. I'm just saying, be wary of your neighbors. Be wary of the places your kids go. Because you may assume that the person in the house is perfectly fine. And they, and they may be. And you may assume your child 
is smart enough to not wander off the path. But children are easily distracted. Remember that. Well, I got the song graph for you today. So until next week, thank you for your time. Ask the Savior to help you comfort, strengthen, and keep.